think you said that most of the time the the devil is not our enemy, it's our own mind. Mm -hmm. But we know that he's real. So at what point is he your enemy? And how do you know the difference between a, your own head and a real attack? <clears throat> right. Um, the enemy... The enemy comes through open doors we give him in our thinking. And so when our thinking is uh, aligned with issues that we haven't renewed or we haven't brought truth in, then he will come in and he will, and it's a real attack. But what I usually do when I'm under attack is, I, this is what I do, I'll say. Let's say that the devil, I woke up and oppression is all over me. It's obvious it's the devil. I have no reason to feel so discouraged, ready to give up and quit. Nothing's working. My soul is just oppressed. My body feels like it's going to drop over dead. It's bad. And I know it's the devil. So what I do... I stand up and I start thanking God. I say, God, this is a great opportunity to worship you in the midst of my own personal hell, like Jesus did. Thank you for this opportunity. I may not get another opportunity like this for months or even years. Thank you that I get to stand here and acknowledge how big you are. Acknowledge your goodness. Acknowledge that you still love me. And acknowledge that you have an answer in the midst of all of this. And when I first did it, I just had to do it by faith because I didn't, you know, I certainly didn't feel it. But I've actually gotten to where I have fun with it. It's like... Oh, this should irritate you, devil. Lord, I worship you. You're so good to me. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. This is such a good opportunity. I haven't had an opportunity like this one in years. And I get to praise you, which means I get to take this territory. I get to stand here declaring the goodness of my God. And I know I'm irritating the devil, devil a bunch. Now, it is true, you get around witches, you get around people that are operating in evil forces. Like uh, when we did the abortion thing at the state capitol. Uh, one of my friends works at the state capitol. She came to ministry night. She looked like she'd been run over by a truck. She looked oppressed. There is such a thing, uh, I call it taking a spiritual bath of just saying, Lord, I just bathed in the blood of Jesus. I wash off all of this junk that's trying to attack, attack to me. I choose to respond in a different spirit than what they've sent against me. I turn back on their own head, and this is David's prayer. God, I send back on the heads of those who have sinned against me. I send it back on them. I call it the cow manure theory. If I have a factory that produces cow manure, and I ship it to your front door every day. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. You have the problem. Mm -hmm. But if you refuse to sign for it and it gets sent back to my cow manure factory, after a while I have to shut down my factory. Mm -hmm. So out of love for that person, I will say, God, I turn it back on their own head and I send your love and your mercy and your grace to bring them to repentance. I won't receive it, God. So sometimes when you're under heavy oppression, uh, witchcraft is a really bad when you, you, you want to give up and quit. And so when I find myself wanting to give up and quit, I just start saying, okay, a witchcraft spirit has targeted me. So Lord, wherever that thing is coming from, I send it back on the person that is sending it out with your mercy and your grace so that they have a bad day, not me, <laughs> so that they will come to a place of brokenness and repentance.